this is 2024 we are all pretty much aware of how pcos affects different people i mean people from all ranges colors sizes it all is contributed to something that goes on in your lifestyle welcome back to my channel i am johnny renetta aka the real Shane. and i'm back with another video today if you're new here welcome to the channel or if you're a returning subscriber welcome back with his tea so y'all know i'm primarily blend like some pcos information into the channel but today what we're going to be talking about is just having confidence as like a girly that may have like pcos and you know hormonal things that goes on in your life and you may feel um you know a little different from people that don't have it you know what i mean it's really common nowadays I feel like PCOS, so it's like, if you don't have it, it's kind of like how it is something that I know affect me. It affected me, it made me feel away at certain points in times, or if like, I don't, it's not that I wasn't confident, it's just my confidence was shaky it was kind of depending on how i looked or how i felt and at the end of the day there's no reason to not be confident so we're going to talk about some things today where you can feel a little more confident about yourself and if you're not confident how to get yourself there y'all seen like my hirsutism i have like a lot of like weight things insulin resistant things at one point in time, I was um, provided like spirolactone. I don't know if you know what that is. It's like a, it's like a, a medicine that basically reduces hair growth, kind of like hormonal hair growth and like certain. I, that's what I used it for. I think it was like lowering your testosterone. I don't know. I'd have to put it up here on the screen to see exactly what it means. But it's not working for me, so I stopped taking that, and I just kind of just let these symptoms of like PCOS to just take effect in my life. One thing that I did change that I noticed a significant difference in just my overall body, health, skin, etc. Because I can be prone to breakouts, clearly. Like, you can see my... I mainly break out up here, though. Like, I may get some around here, but it's mainly all up in here. I didn't start getting, like, body back acne until like I got higher in my weight or even like your menstrual cycle I call it my girlfriend so on here I'm gonna call it my girlfriend but when my girlfriend comes I can tell when it's been like a really stressful month or if it was like not a stressful month or it was just something going on but when I ate a certain way that's when I realized my body like get more regulated primarily what i did was cutting out meat and a lot of sugar and i just focused on mainly eating plant-based veggies i ate some dairy not really i ate tofu i didn't eat eggs um and yeah when i did that things just changed like overall as far as like my skin even like the thickness of like growth on my face or on my body, like different parts of my body, the hair that would grow, it would just be reduced. Like it wouldn't grow in as thick as it did before. And even like my girlfriend, when my girlfriend would come, it was a couple of days, it was light, it was always like, well, not always, sometimes I was a little stressed out. But for the most part, every single month, didn't skip. It was like clockwork, you know? And since I have started eating meat again, eating more dairy, eating more sugar, eating all these things, I see the symptoms more. And I don't know if you're like that too, where you notice the symptoms more around a specific time frame or when you eat a certain way or whatever. These things like contribute to it. So again, your body is like, a reflection of 
your mental, I think, as well. You can you can tell how somebody feels by how they look. This is 2024. We are all pretty much aware of how PCOS affects different people. I mean, people from all ranges, colors, sizes, it all is contributed to something that goes on in your lifestyle. But I am here to tell you a few ways to be a little more confident if you experience some of the symptoms that I've mentioned or if you have your own like um, experiences or symptoms that I didn't cover, leave them down below and tell us how you combat PCOS or um, just improve like your lifestyle overall. Um, this is not, I should have said this in the beginning, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a fitness coach, I'm not a holistic coach, I'm none of those things. I'm just sharing my experience as a girly that has the same thing you may have, okay? For me, I easily gain weight and I easily lose weight and it's determined Bro, I thought I saw a bug. It's determined by the movement that I get. So if I'm not getting much movement, it shows in my body. And so I feel like when you're able to move around more, the hormonal issues, the symptoms that you're having don't have an area to just be imbalanced anymore. They have opportunity to improve. So if you're not already, and I say this again, we're in America, it's 2024, it's the summertime, it's getting hot outside, go outside, move your body. I had trouble recently with insomnia, like it didn't matter how tired I was, I just couldn't go to sleep when my body felt tired. I fell asleep 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and it was draining. You could see it in my face, you could see it it was just draining so what i've been doing is incorporating more walking and when i say you get out there in that sun that sun will drain you in a good way like it's not it's not like it's like making you feel like oh i'm gonna pass out no it makes you feel empowered it builds your confidence because you're like Oh, if I can make it, and I'm not saying go out there and be a freaking track star or anything like that, but if you could just walk like a half a mile or even just around your neighborhood and make it without like being out of breath or extremely tired or anything, you deserve your pat on the back, your clap, your round of applause because that is movement. You do a little bit of walking, you push yourself, your confidence is boosted because you're able to push yourself, get it done, you're feeling confident for the day, you're proceeding throughout your day, etc. And these are things that I've been experiencing, like the confidence of walking, not being tired, and being surprised because the first day I started walking, going up and down hills, I was out of breath. Like I was contemplating stopping and sitting down and like falling out basically, <laughs> but at the same time, as the weeks progressed, I've been doing, this is like my third week of walking. And I'm excited to go outside in a sweat. I don't know if you're a sweater. I'm outside, I'm excited to accomplish like going over certain areas. And even if I'm in the gym, being able to walk at a certain incline, at a faster pace, being able to not hold on to the rails in the gym and being able to just like, put my hands up or wherever I put my hands just not holding on to the rail so I can like build up my endurance and my stamina is it stamina I don't know maybe it's stamina just being able to build myself up <clears throat> and I know that it's working because my heart is getting the blood it needs my blood pressure I've been going through that too but my blood pressure is getting like more regulated because it's like it knows when to basically balance itself out whenever you're exercising. It just exercising helps. But as a PCOS girly, walking is your friend. Don't go outside thinking you have to be a track star. 
don't think walking is like extreme literally walk like if you have a mall near you go inside the mall just walk around the mall i don't care if you're sipping a drink or something walk get your steps in if you work from home like me if you're sitting down if that's your job walk you need to get a walking pad walk around your neighborhood between your breaks walk outside somewhere i don't know do something to get your body moving because that is going to help a lot with balancing your hormones and then also getting some sunlight because sunlight brings you vitamin d when you go out in the sun you need at least 10 minutes outside in the sun to get the vitamin d you need for the day and i mean not in the car sunlight i'm talking about you stand outside and try not to have as much clothes on like let some skin show have your sunscreen on get the sunlight onto your body for 10 minutes then leave or if you're walking just do your walk whatever but yeah you just need a little vitamin d another way that helped me to improve my confidence is working on the things that i'm insecure about obviously weight is one thing because you really tell how much weight you've gained by the clothes that you have and the clothes that i have i couldn't fit like for a while i could not fit this be mindful of other things where you can improve so if it's not exercising or losing weight if you have pcos you know what i mean when you have hirsutism hair on your face it probably comes with dark marks i don't really have any i have like an old pimple from right here but i had like dark marks all around here and it was bad and i thought it would never go away but i got electrolysis and if you wanted to learn more about that i could put it up there at the top but i got electrolysis it gets rid of my hair it will never grow back but that was something i did to invest into myself and get rid of an issue that was causing me to feel a little less confident so another thing i did in between the time that i was getting the electrolysis is um being able to care for my skin so facials um and again if you need someone in your area that does facials the ones that i'd recommend not the dermaplaning not the you know the crazy ones just microdermabrasion where they like literally suck off the skin and exfoliate it's really exfoliating but it's not as strong as like a chemical pill, you know what I mean? Yeah. But if you need somebody in your area that does that, drop your location down below because I am making videos about it. And the only place that we have right now is Orlando. The only place that we have right now is Orlando. So let's get some more places that we can find. Um, but yeah, electrolysis works. Uh, another thing that I've been doing to get rid of things that I've been insecure about, laser hair removal, it works. I had got it done in Texas under my pits. And look at my pits right now. <laughs> On camera, they look really good. So pay attention to my birthmark because this is the same armpit. You can kind of see it, not really. But this is the picture I was looking for. Super inflamed, dark. I probably had like one or two treatments on my underarms and it they burned me with the laser when I got it done. But more on that story will be uploaded later on in a different video. But yeah. Tell you, they look really good for what they used to look like. But I'll show you. So right now, you see my pit. It don't look too bad. Investing in hair removal as a PCO's girly, ma'am, do it. Don't waste your time. Okay. Don't waste your time with the razor. Waxing, it's a case by case thing, waxing. If you feel more comfortable waxing, do your thing. But don't forget to exfoliate. You don't wanna have like that dark cloud hanging over you about, oh, I'm, I don't feel confident in my swimsuit or I don't feel comfortable in certain outfits or intimate moments and all these things because you don't have like the confidence, you know? So these are things to be confident in. I feel like I am sharing some things right now that 
I haven't talked to anybody about. So I hope this is helping because girl, I know it's real life things. We're scared to talk about it and it shouldn't be like a scary thing to talk about because we're, we're just human. Another thing that I would say is to watch what you eat. Really pay attention to what you eat and how it makes you feel. You have like a certain feeling. I feel like eating needs its own video. I probably would just make a separate video about eating because I um, eat ice cream, like Cold Stone ice cream, store-bought ice cream. I break out. I have pimples. I get pimples. I think it's the dairy. It's too much for me. So I break out. Sometimes <laughs> I skip the ice cream because I know I'm going to break out. And um, it's just like a battle. Pick your battle. If you have... If you're lactose, for example, and you eat dairy products and you know your battle is going to be the bathroom. Sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes it's not. That's how I feel about ice cream and my skin breaking out. Sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes it's not. But it is a lot of it determined of, on like um, how I feel. So before I eat the ice cream, how I feel. If I'm having like a long week, I feel like, oh, let me reward myself with ice cream. Knowing that it comes with a consequence of not just my skin breaking out but i feel like i'm on a sugar high or a sugar rush um and i weigh more because ice cream is very heavy dairy is very heavy i'm bloated i can't fit my clothes like these are ways that our body tells us signs and symptoms of like hey maybe you shouldn't eat that but Again, eating needs its own video, but watch what you eat and how it makes you feel. Another thing I would suggest is skincare. So we've been seeing like a lot of like K-beauty stuff. Well, let me not say we, cause I don't know what's on your For You page, but there's a lot of K-beauty stuff. There's a lot of people recommending different products. TikTok shop products, be careful, I've seen some things. You need something that is good for your skin. Find people that have your complexion people that may struggle from the same issues that you have with skin and listen to what they're saying. Don't take, if you know that you don't have oily skin, you wouldn't benefit from advice from me. I have oily skin. Oily skin in these areas, the T-zone, is, is the T this way or that way? I don't know. The T-zone area, oily skin, I'm the girl. I'm your friend. And so what I've been doing is focusing on product. I don't even know if this is a, a thing, but product placement on your body matters. Like if you know, for example, bacne, I've been battling bacne right now. My skin is just fading with whatever marks that I've acquired from having bacne or whatever. And I'm fine with that because it's way better than having breakouts and back marks so i stopped the breakout part and products that i've used oh if i could insert them here or maybe like a list or they might be down below like Berenzo, benzel but the peroxide you know what i'm talking about all right friend i show you this please don't go <laughs> running it up in the store but i promise y'all then people are not lying on TikTok about this product. But I'm going to take it up a notch and show you how to combat not just the acne, getting rid of the marks. Because please don't judge my phone, but it's like kind of broken on the side. I don't even know if this will show up properly. But that's... I don't think it's showing up the way that it needs to. Y'all have seen this brand before, right? There we go. That's the brand, Panaxel, but it's benzoyl peroxide. I'm probably saying that all wrong, excuse me. Benzoyl peroxide, and it works. When I say it works, it works. When you get in the shower, do not do this in the bath. When you get in the shower, you put it on your hand and you put it on the areas that you have it, um, that you break out at on your body. And like for me, it's my back and my shoulders. So I put it there and I let it sit there. And usually during this time, I'm like washing my face or I brush my teeth. Yes, I brush my teeth in the shower. I'm doing something like that. 
And then by the time it's all done, I get my African scrub. I don't have a picture of it. I'm going to insert an African scrub. And the links to these products will be down below. And you already know. Affiliate links down below to Amazon products that will help combat your PCOS. Please support my links or my storefront. I think I have a storefront, but we'll see. But it'll be categorized for PCS friendly products. Anyway, so, and just like foaming up, because the benzoyl peroxide is kind of tricky. Like it looks like it don't foam, but it foams. You take the African scrub and you scrub and you get your back and you scrub your back. Like the African scrub is long enough so you could do this to your back, if you know what I mean. Like you, you do this. And then you do this to the other side, and then you get your back all good and clean. And don't forget, like, this area as well. But, um, yeah, so you do that in the shower, and then you rinse that off. And you want to make sure you rinse it off because this next product, um, <sighs> it depends on what product you use afterwards. Because the benzoyl peroxide is strong enough to get rid of the acne that's on your back. The other thing that I would suggest is getting like a, a unscented Castile body wash soap. Perfect because it doesn't like clash with the benzoyl peroxide and it won't like inflame you or anything like this. And then this next product that I would suggest if you don't want to use the benzoyl peroxide or they don't have it in your area because it's sold out a lot in Walmart. Use this one, which is the Dove Salic Salicylic salicylic acid body wash that one works so good and you could use it wherever and you could actually wash like your full body with it but if you just want to save some money only wash the areas that are like your problem areas with this body wash and i promise when you get out of the shower and you wash all that stuff off go and get you <laughs> there's there's a couple products Okay, there's a couple combinations of products. So there's, you can get the salicylic acid spray, like as like a body spray. And then you blend it with a vitamin C lotion. You do not want to put it somewhere you don't need it. I'm not putting this on my legs. My legs don't need it. They're not breaking out. I put it on my shoulders and I stop wherever my acne stops. Like, if you see my arm, it's not as bad. Um, but where my where you see, like, spots and stuff, that means that I'm prone in that area. So, from right here up is where I stop with that product. I don't put any oils on here. I don't put any other lotions on here because I know that my skin will just take that and use it against me. And that's going to take my self-confidence all the way down like i feel really good being able to not have any breakouts on my shoulders just dealing with like sorry my phone was just, with dark marks like honey please please it looks good compared to what it used to look like it looks good and there's no chicken skin none of that stuff we not doing none of that we are being confident on 2024 okay but yes yeah, so Vitamin C salicylic acid spray. If you don't want to do that, or if you want to do a combination of both of these products, because I promise you, this next product, <sighs> game changer. Honey, when you get out the shower, if you're not using the spray and the vitamin C, you need this right now for your body. Only put it on places where you have problem areas for me like i said wherever i'm having marks at is where i put the products at because that means that's where i break out at put it there and leave it overnight retinol i would say use at night time um or you can like alternate in between these products like one night you may use it the next night you may use something different you know but do not combine all three you cannot do that. Don't do it. Your body will lose its mind because those products are not supposed to be mixed together all at once. So make sure to separate them. And also make sure you rinse off the benzoyl peroxide all the way because if not, the salicylic acid and the benzoyl peroxide, not a good thing. Won't work out too well. And I say this because 
it's gonna play a role in your confidence if you have areas that break out now it could be other areas of your body that break out that you want to fix a little just not your face i'm not talking about your face right now um but yeah i even take the retinol and i would put it under my arm under my arms and that would help with like lightning whatever scars that i may have from um scars and dark marks or hyperpigmentation from previous like shaving and stuff whatever but i promise it works the other thing that i would say is invest in a good sunscreen not just for your face but like for your full body because when you put it on these products like the retinol and the vitamin c you don't want the sun to basically cause your dark marks to get darker because that's what will happen basically this is a really long video so if you're sticking it out this far i hope that these gems are helping or will be helpful for you and be sure to smash the like button okay other parts of your body that you don't break out at use like a nice moisturizing cream body butter lotion something that really gets your skin hydrated in this video we covered our skin care we covered food exercise i feel like those are just like the basic things but the other part that i would say this is the last thing because it kind of ties back into like the walking and having insomnia and not being able to sleep and you know just not getting good rest and proper sleep is essential it's it's just not okay it's not essential it's essential to get proper sleep rest for your body these are just some things that you could do um just like from my personal experience my advice to feel a little more confident in yourself and what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and yeah that's just what i have to say um i do hope that you enjoyed this video and that it wasn't super long and that we were able to cover everything um if you have additional questions or again if you have different symptoms that haven't been discussed in this video make sure to comment down below and share with us so that we can know some extra tips and tricks because i don't know everything okay and then also check out the hair removal videos that i have coming because they are um dropping like it's hot yeah and I'm going to share your video about my underarms. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Yeah, we don't have to. It's a separate video. I'll talk about like dark areas and stuff in a different time because this video is already too long. But peace and hair grease. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video and to be sure to leave a thumbs up. Um, I really don't feel like I covered everything in this video. So there may be other videos, but I just don't want this to be an hour long. I mean, just chit-chatting, you know, but I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in the next video.